the boys are back in town. Hi, Thumos, gentlemen. Welcome back. All right, we're talking to Matt C. today. Top comment on the what are you dealing with video. Matt C. is a YouTuber, by the way, who actually looks like he's doing really dang good. I recommend that you click. I'll, I'll link you to his channel down below. Subscribe to him. Show Matt some love. I'm going to answer his question here. Okay. Hey, Elisha. Main struggle, finding people who are willing to do 125%. I feel like I'm surrounded by people surrounding themselves in comfort, and it's making me isolate myself. No one is pushing themselves or looking for a way to be the best. I'm struggling with letting people and their beliefs into my life. I'm very alone, but I'm not lonely. I love being around people, but finding the right people is hard especially around these times. It's hard to find people to connect with in real life. I have plenty of like-minded people I know online, but being in touch with others who are much alike, you in real life is so much different and you connect a lot better. I don't know whether I'm introvert or extrovert. I'm fine on my own, but sometimes I get energized by the right people too. Ooh, this is a good, this is a great question. I realized why it got 48 plus thumbs up, okay? Um, almost instantly. Here's it. I'm just going to break it down. Let's start from the bare bones. In this particular scenario, Matt is crushing it on YouTube. Okay, let me just tell you, he's got 33k views in less than eight hours. Okay, so you probably have a decent um, subscriber base. You got good fans. Here's what I want you to know. And I want every guy, we got to reiterate this. You have to focus on the vision, bro. What are you going to do with this? Because I know I don't want you to get stuck in a trap of just pumping content and not knowing where you're going. That's a good way to burn out. Trust me. So always go back to the vision and think, what do you want to do? What do you want to do with this attention that you're capturing? How do you want to bring it to the, the next level? How can you keep helping people? How can you keep grow it bigger? I don't know. Whatever it is that you want to do, create a business, start something new. That's all on you, bro. Okay. So that's the first thing. The next thing I got to tell you is that it's okay to be alone. It's a great thing to be alone. Now, not too much being alone, but it's good to be alone, okay? It gives you a lot of insight, a lot of creativity, and also keeps you away from negative influences such as degenerate friends and people. Now, this, this is probably one of the biggest questions I get, seriously. Some form of this. Some form of my, my college roommates, they always want to party. They always want to mess around. Um, everyone wants to drink. This is such a common question, man. Dealing with friends that are not building you up, dealing with people who are not lions. Now, if you want to be a lion, you got to roll with the lions, man. Seriously. So let's take a look at it. You do need to say no to people that are downright going nowhere. Okay, downright going nowhere. If you start hanging out around them, you will become like them. It's that simple. Okay. Like it or not, you will begin to become like who you hang around with the most often. You will take on their mindset. You will take on their emotional, um, their how they are emotionally. So if they're hot-headed and angry all the time, so will you. You'll start being hot-headed. If they are very uh, beta, you could say if they're very passive, aggressive, you will also start doing that. If they're always sarcastic, you will start doing that. And you'll notice that something's wrong with you, okay? It's their input, the leeches in your life, the, the cuckoo bird on your shoulder just constantly, you know, going in here, okay? So I'm telling you, be careful with who you hang out with. It's very important. If you want to be a lion, you got to roll with the lions, okay? That being said, where can you meet badass dudes? Let's be honest. I'm not going to tell you to just, um, I'm not going to tell you that you need, per se, to just start making a bunch of friends because I don't think that's important. What I want you to do is focus on the vision and, and get your mind right and start focusing on just a few things. Making good content, win, having these wins daily where you're actually making progress for your vision. You, you know, if that's buying your first home, you know, making those steps, setting up your business, making those steps, like constantly getting, improving, making progress towards those things. It, you know, this, keep your body healthy, man. Make sure you get your sleeping right. Make sure you're eating good. You're working out. You're taking care of yourself because you want to feel like a beast. 
You know, you don't want to feel terrible and uh, have this struggle. This, this worry right here, it, it's going to handle itself. Focus on yourself. Make a decision right now that you're going to start working out. You're going to make yourself healthy if you're not already. You're going to lose weight if you're fat. You're going to gain muscle and you're just going to be a beast. Okay. Once you become a beast, you have more energy in life and you start to radiate it outward. And what happens is that you start to see opportunities everywhere. They're just there. It's like you, you change the lens of what you're looking at in life. It's, it's, it's just amazing, man. So change the lens by having an abundance of energy out there and you're going to start seeing different opportunities present themselves. You're going to be ready for them. Okay. With that being said, stop looking for friends and stop judging people. Seriously. One of the best things I got to go this route. One of the best things that I did was stop judging people. And you know what? When I stopped judging people, I stopped being so harsh on myself. I stopped judging myself so much because before I was, it was always like I was putting my, my own, what judging other people does is just take for a little time, a little, uh, a little moment in time. It takes you from looking at yourself and unless you just look at other people and say, ah, this guy's faulty. This guy's messed up. He's got faults here. Look, and it says in the Bible, you know, before you go and judge someone else, take the log out of your own eye. Before you push, point out the splinter in theirs, take the log out of yours. Okay. And that's what judging does is it, it just keeps you from actually analyzing yourself and seeing where you can fix yourself up and saying, oh, this guy's not going 125%. These people, uh, you know, talking shit about this person, that person. At the end of the day, let's be real. None of us are perfect. Life is hard. Not you, not me are going 125% all the time. It's just the way it is. And you don't need to. Okay, so stop judging people and just be easy on yourself. That's the reality of it. I swear a lot of you guys, if you get one thing from this message, please take that. It's just stop judging people and you will stop being so harsh on yourself. Just let other people live their life. Let them suffer if they need to suffer. Let them grow old and die. And I'm not saying that as mean, but you know, you want to not be in my life? Great. Get older and die. Live your life and die. Okay. I'm not your daddy. You just get, grow older and die. It's that simple. Like people are going to come and go in your life. You don't need to be sentimental about that. I see a lot of guys. It's tempting to get very sentimental about people coming and going and just getting really emotional. I mean, people come and go. It's just the way it's the, the way of life, the circle of life, man. People come and go, people die. And that's life. Okay. Okay. You're not supposed to care about everyone, but the few people that are in your life that are good, you care about them. You have this kinship with them. You love them. You build them up. Those are the people that are close to you. You really love, but everyone, man, you just got to really be selective with those. Okay. So last thing, a couple places you can meet people. Jiu-jitsu. Every time I go, there's about 15 guys who are just warriors, man. You want to be a lion, you got to roll with the lions, right? You got to roll, literally rolling with other grown ass apes in here. You got to roll with the lions. These guys are badass, dude. Seriously. Like I thought, you know, I thought I'm built, you know, going in here. Man, they're throwing me around. Even the girls are tough. Tough as nails. They're not all this feminist BS. These girls are tough, man. You know, you don't get me too in there. When you roll with a girl... Some of you guys are scared of getting Me Too plotted, you know, but I mean, you get, you will not get Me Too'd in there. The girls are tough. Everyone's in there. They got a tough, tough mindset. And it's like, it's that mindset that they want to succeed. They want to push themselves. They want to get uncomfortable. They don't accept defeat. You want to be a line. You got to roll with the lines, man. So that's that. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Do jujitsu. Get in areas where there's other guys that are pushing. The only other thing I can think of is the gym. Uh, any martial arts, the gym is one of them. Don't be afraid to open up in the gym. Take the headphones out and see all the sounds that you're missing. You're missing the guy next to you grunting, you know, pushing it. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe he is bigger than you can show you how to how to do something better. But you're too busy listening to, you know, the newest, uh, I don't know, you know, Billy Ellish while you're in the, in the uh, gym and you're just like singing to yourself and you're missing all the other people. You're missing that girl looking at you. All right, that's how you make you get out in life, man. Start putting your place where other guys are pushing to be a line. You got to roll with the lines. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. 
Um, stop judging people. It's going to change your life. Be open. Now, I'm not saying to trust everyone. Give them the benefit of the doubt. From my own personal experience, I give people the benefit of the doubt. If they do not seem like they're going to be a good person, then I will quickly discard of them. And I will not ever talk to them again. It's that simple. Or I will just not give them too much. Okay? Let people suffer and die, man. Let people, if they want to be like that, let them move on. They'll move out of your life. They'll live their own life. You're not God. You don't need to play God. Okay? Again, focus on the vision. Have small wins every day, bro. What I mean by that is just show up. Just keep creating. Just keep putting it out there. It doesn't always need to be perfect, man. You just It's just that you're showing up and you're making that testament to your life. Like, all right, this is my life. I'm going to use my time here on earth. I'm going to not just sit by and watch everything happen. But, like, you know, you're actually getting out there and making things happen, man. So that's all I'm saying. Go try to do jujitsu or martial arts. Um, don't be afraid to go out, bring your buddies, you know, hang out with some friends. But if it becomes too much and it's bringing you down, then quickly get away from it. Distance yourself and clean up that social environment, okay? Go to the gym. Get yourself healthy. If you want to join different sports, do that where there's other guys. There's that youthful energy. There's that that um, that hunger to succeed. To be a lion, you got to roll with the lions, man. So get around other lions. That's it, guys. I hope that you have a blessed night, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.